Power Automate is a really powerful tool and is really useful for automating things in your organization. So here from the apps list, I'm going to click on Power Automate. Power Automate used to be called Flow, by the way, or Microsoft Flow. So if I click on Home, what I will see here is templates. And this is a templates are a really useful way to get started with Power Automate. So for example, uh, when I receive an email with attachments, it will save those attachments to OneDrive. Or I will get a push notification, so I'll pop up on my screen when I receive an email from my boss. There's loads of templates here. So at the top, there are topics here. So templates for email, templates for notification, search templates. If I search for one on Twitter, for example, it will show me Twitter templates. Now, this is useful, useful if you're doing work on social media. Um, what this will do is whenever anybody tweets you or tweets a hashtag, so at hashtag my business, it will email you or you can get it to post a message to Teams whenever anybody tweets about a given topic or anything like that. So these are your templates here on the left. Now, if I click on connectors, these are the tools or online services that Power Automate will work with. So if I move down the list here, so these are my connectors here. It works obviously with Microsoft 365 tools, but also with third party applications as well. And there's lots and lots and lots to choose from. So if you work with Gmail, for example, or GitHub, YouTube, there are flows that will work with those services as well. And as I said, this really allows you to automate processes in your business and flows are triggered by an event. So an event might be a hashtag has been posted, for example, or a document has been saved or a document has been edited, a new calendar item, and that will trigger a sequence of events that will give you the desired outcome to automate that process in your business. So that is Power Automate and a little bit about what it can do for your organization.